All right. All right, man. Leonard, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing great, Dale. Well, it's good to have you. Hey, it's good to be back here at Chad State, man. And you and I used to do an old radio show a long time ago. Yes, we did. We did. Uh, it was called Sounds by the River. Yep. And uh, one of my classmates, uh, Mark Slagle, and I came together, man, and we prayed about it, and we said, Lord, you know, use us. You know, use our gifts and talents. And we want to see an alternative radio program, you know. And so his, his uh, expertise, his field was the technical side. Basically, I was kind of like the poetry guy, you know, and the guy who was kind of like, hey, let's do something. You know, I was sort of like uh, our front guy and, and saying, hey, can we do this? Can we do that? And uh, so we came together, and, uh, man, he had some music, and we just started the show just from just like that. And it's still going today, man. Thank God. Man, I tell you, um, you know, we both... Um, were um, students here. I was about 49, 50, and um, man, I tell you, it's all a, you know. It's, it's really a Jesus factor, and we wanted to promote the Lord, you know, here on campus, uh, on the wall. It was 91.5 at that time. Uh, there was some controversy, you know, because the wall today is totally streaming, you know. And first of all, we thought that perhaps maybe the president. You know, the way that what happened about the station, you know, went wrong and everything. I hope I'm not getting off here. But anyway, what happened, it seemed, turned out to be a blessing because of the station today, what's going on with the students today. Um, and, it's you know, so anyway, um, something good came out of it. You know, right. Even though that was a controversy, you know, that was a uh, protest. Uh, something good came out of it. The station still goes on. Um, uh, Life Radio carries on as well, 91.5. But the wall... Here at Chad State is going on, man. I'm good to see that you guys are still taking, taking the baton and, and carrying on the right message. On. All right. So now, um, let's go back just a second. You were talking about coming to college at okay. 49 or 50. Is that what you said? Yeah, 49 or 50. All right. What was that like? Being an older student, did you feel out of place? Did you have a hard time with classes? Did you adjust seamlessly? What was your experience there? And was it a media degree you were focused on? Yeah, it was media technology. Um, man, it was it was a challenge. You know, I hadn't been in the school over what thirty years. Um, man, I stayed in the uh, the math lab. I stayed in the writing lab. Right. <laughs> I mean, you know, I burned the midnight oil. I prayed, man. You, <laughs> you know, it was rough. It was it was tough. Uh, but I, I thank God for that experience. Uh, you know, hey, I just jumped off the diving board, came to Chat State, man. It was encouraging. But the students, you know, it was kind of like iron sharpens iron. You know, you have young students, older students, and they had a lot to offer. They had all the energy. They had the technology skills. And we had the experience. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, I had the experience. So, so basically we mixed. And, uh, you know, there were some students we got along together. And so what I like about the media technology that you could get experience in radio, you could get experience in TV, and also in newspaper. Right. So did you do all three? I did all three, but writing was, the newspaper was my niche. You know, they say advertising was my thing. Um, I made some Fs in the other parts, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, man, it, it was, um, I tell you what, man, the people that you meet, you know, that God put in your pathway, that's important because you can always, yes, down the years, that's valuable, you know what I mean? Everybody have gifts and talents, um, you know, even though we go different ways. But the people that I met during the years, very valuable. All right, so now what have you done since graduating from Chattanooga State as a media student? Where are you working or what are you doing? Well, right now um, I'm working with um, Teen Challenge. Okay. And um, I um, every month we have graduations. I work with the, the camera and I record the graduations. I also work with a TV station on the mountain, a TVN station. Um, and I'm a cameraman. Helps, I help out in recruiting people to come to the station and uh, just getting on the phone, talking to them, telling them about what it's all about. And it's networking, you know, just like you, you know, say, hey, Dad, how you doing, man? Do you know anybody to sing, play, whatever? And so uh, it's been a great exposure for me meeting people as well in this city and metro area. And um, we're just really uplifting the king, and that's what it's all about. And uh, so the exposure has been great. You know, the exposure has been great. Uh, what's next? I don't know. Writing, I still I still write a little bit. My, my poetry and poems coming on. That's what I was fixing to ask you about. And, um, There's not, a whole other side of Leonard <laughs> that I wanted to explore for a yeah. second. Where did poetry start and what does that mean to you? What do you express? Well, I'm expressing what's going on. You know, um, sometimes um, situations that we have in life, what we go through, 
and God give me songs. You know, He just give me things to to express. Uh, maybe a situation that I that I'm in, uh, school, family, whatever it is, job, yes. something going on, man, and it's just igniting. You know, and so the Holy Spirit is uh, He can use our gifts and talents. And if we just turn them over to him, you know, we might not even realize. You know, I didn't realize that I, you know, that the writing, all that was there. I started a newspaper in circulation back in my hometown um, for about eight and a half years. I actually had a little experience up in Gary, Indiana, working for Night Ridder newspaper.